was, you know, more of like, oh yeah, she's thick, right? She's not thin. She's not skinny. So yeah. I always keep from having a little bit more body fat, but not sufficient muscle mass because it was just yeah. agility, sports-based, yeah. um, you know, activities. So going into that understanding of body composition yeah. and what that entails, I didn't understand why scale would not move. Like why I'm, I'm not dropping weight. Like why is the scale not budging? And <laughs> that is such a hard thing on the beginners or people that are starting their fitness journey. Yeah. They think they're broken. They think that they, something's wrong with them or, you know, the scale is oh, the king. Like it matters above everything. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind you here, <laughs> the scale, honestly, it's just a tool. It is just a measure that lets us exactly. understand what's going on with our body, but it doesn't tell you your progress rate. <laughs> so mm, exactly. you have, to have so many other tools to measure that rate, whether if that be through, of course, we've talked about this DEXA scan, in-body scan, yeah. you know, of course, having pictures, videos, understanding how your body looks with muscle mass versus body fat, yeah. and that scale may go up. It actually may go up and you look right. better. As you're building. So, yep. Correct. Yeah. Correct. All these things. I just did not understand. I didn't know. 